welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday and I'm just about to go into London. I've got two events on this week, one today and one tomorrow. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. And yeah, I'm ready to go, so I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's almost half past 12 and I've got to be there at about half past one, two o'clock, so need to go. My gym wear on because we're going to, I, I can remember, never remember whether it's Rebel One or One Rebel, but it's a gym class or a workout class. And I've not done it before, so I'm very excited. It's with Milani. The makeup brand and again i'm really excited because i don't think i've gone to an event with them before the weather i feel like i speak about in every single vlog but it's not giving today it is raining i've just done a no makeup makeup literally using a little bit of um eyebrow gel and some lip oil in terms of makeup but also this product which i got sent a few days ago and you guys have probably seen them everywhere by now but they're basically like the instant tanning drops and you just pop them on your face and it does actually give you like that really natural glow. I'm very pale at the moment. I've got a little bit of skincare on. I've also curled my eyelashes which makes the world of a difference because obviously I've got no mascara on. Um, and I've just done a slick back bun. We made it. So I've done spin before but I've actually never worn these spin shoes. <laughs> They're so funny, they like connect to the bike. And they said to go one size up, but I'm really awkward with sizes. Sometimes I'm a four, sometimes I'm a five. But let's try a five first. So it's so cool in here. Okay. <laughs> I've got my shoes on. They feel so weird and look really weird as well. <laughs> this is what we are here for. These are the setting sprays and there's another one as well down there. It's supposed to be sweat proof, which is the whole point of us doing this class. Welcome, welcome. Um, thank you all for joining us today at the Milani Sweat Club. Um, for those who don't know me, I am Elon Jong. I'm the Senior Manager of International Marketing at Milani Cosmetics. Um, flew into London last night, all the way from LA, so I'm more than excited to be able to hear, uh, be here with all of you. Whether you are heading to a workout, long day at work, um, or just a fun night out, you can always have it um, to ensure your flawless um, makeup look. I'm gonna bring those lights down now. Let's have fun, we've got 40 minutes of fun. The lights coming down, first track coming on. Now, take a nice deep breath for me. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Start to roll your legs behind the beach. Hello, I'm a Swifty. We always have tenor in the playlist. post-workout shake and it's like chocolate peanut butter it's really really good and it's vegan I'm just heading home now it's still raining okay I'm now home this is my little goodie bag that we got from Milani also got a really cute towel which we used during the workout and it just says Milani sweat club and I'll definitely be taking this to the gym because I do sweat a lot also got some resistance bands they're all Milani caps cookies and cream protein bar that looks really nice main event and these are actually the number one setting spray in america so i don't know if they're new to the uk or if they're just trying to get them to be as big as they are over there but there's three different sprays the original is up to 24 hours wear and then these two are 16 hours wear and they're waterproof sweat proof hence the reason that we all got really sweaty and a lot of girls had full faces of makeup on and they actually still looked like really really good at the end i didn't put any makeup on just because i didn't feel like it today but um 
it did feel really nice as well they smell really really good it is now half past five and i'm gonna start making dinner and this is perfect timing for days like today where i've been in london the travel and stuff just takes out of you it's the perfect time to order hello fresh also in london tomorrow as well and this is gonna make my life easier then too so we have got three recipes for this week We've got the crispy onion topped barbecue hot dogs, which I think we're gonna have tonight. The quick creamy prawn rigatoni. I don't think I've tried any of these, which I love, because I love, the main reason I love HelloFresh is obviously the convenience, but the meal inspo, because I'm so indecisive. I find it so hard to choose what to have for dinner. So the fact that you can pre-order type thing and just cook exactly what's in your box. Um, chicken breast, in truffled mushroom sauce with roast potatoes and tender stem. Pretty nice variety for this week. And yeah, like I said, I think we're gonna do the hot dogs. They are already in the fridge. I've already unboxed them, but they have little numbers on the recipe card. By chance, I accidentally pulled out the exact one. It matches this card. So that is what we're gonna cook. Also on the back, it has the breakdown step by step. So it's so easy to follow. And if you're interested, it also has the macros. So without further ado, let's cook dinner and also as always whenever i get to work with hellofresh they really kindly give me a discount code for my followers and i'll leave all the information on the screen and in the description box down below but let's get cooking some dinner shower because obviously I haven't showered since my spin class earlier but I'm feeling a lot better my hair is still definitely in need of a wash but I am going to a hair event tomorrow so I'm going to try and hold out um but anyways whilst dinner was cooking I had a shower and now I'm ready to serve I have actually just started serving um so I've warmed through the buns and then we've got barbecue sauce drizzle that over the top yum to finish it off nicely we've got some crispy onions again something that i love and never buy oh wow that looks so professional that is the finished dinner to remind you this is the crispy onion topped barbecue hot dogs with chips and roast roasted roasted garlic slaw american diner 30 to 35 minutes and this is what you get delicious okay let's try ready cheers what do you think really good isn't it good mm -hmm. i always say it but i've never had a bad hello fresh meal mm. that was good. as i said before i have a discount code so i'll leave it on the screen and down below and we're also going to make another one tomorrow um which i'll include in this vlog so yeah, we're gonna enjoy our dinner and I'll speak to you later. Yay, now. <gasps> Thank you. So we've had our dinner and this week we also added on these goo pots. You can add on extras sometimes. And we added on these lemon cheesecake goo pots as a little treat. So we're gonna have this for dessert and we're also watching The Gentleman, which we've watched on and off for quite a while now. but. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this with dessert. 17 minutes past nine and I'm not gonna lie, I am in my early night phase. I feel like I just need to go to sleep earlier these days to get a good night's sleep and actually unwind in bed before going to sleep. Um, because no matter what time I get into bed, I need probably at least an hour to actually either chill, scroll, we're all guilty of it, um, 
before I actually go to sleep. So I've been trying to get into bed earlier so that the time I go to sleep is earlier. And I also picked up the habit of reading again, which I think I have mentioned on my vlogs recently. I absolutely love it. I'm back in love with reading and I just think it's so good for relaxing a lot of my downtime is spent on screens but obviously that is also my work and i just end up spending the whole day on some sort of device yeah i'm trying to do less screen time basically and i also just find that my mind is actually able to relax when i'm reading it's definitely a form of therapy for me but Anyways, I have spoken about um, the book that I was reading, which I've now finished. It was called Good Material by Dolly Alderton. And I really liked it. It was a really nice, chilled, easy read. Um, a bit of a rom-com, which is usually my go-to. I'm now on to my next book, which is actually a series. And I'm sure you guys have heard of it if you are on TikTok. This has gone pretty viral. On the first book, I've only read one chapter. <laughs> Um, but it's called A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's very enticing as a cover. But yeah, I've got the whole series. I did actually ask my sisters for this book for my birthday and they got me the whole series. And then I was like, oh, I really hope I like it because I've got like five books in front of me. Um, but I've read the first chapter and my initial thoughts are it's so different to what I would usually read, which is a rom-com. Um, and even down to like the text size, I don't know if anyone else will relate to this, but the text is so tiny and it's a little bit more daunting. Whereas like my Colleen Hoover books um, that are like my go-tos, the text is a bit bigger so it doesn't seem like your readings like for so long on each page i hope that makes sense but anyway yeah these are all the books that i've got in the other room there's five of them but i have heard so many good things and when i put this on my story yesterday everyone was like prepare to be addicted so i'm definitely going to give it a chance although like i said the first initial thought was like this is so different even down to the wording like it's very intellectual i'm thinking it's probably similar to reading harry potter which i've never done um it's like a fantasy anyway speaking of reading i'm now gonna wrap up the vlog for tonight read another few chapters of this um and then go to bed and i'll see you bright and early for circuits at 7 a.m i haven't even booked on i'm about to book on now um because it gets me up and productive and then we've got another day in london so i will say good night now and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. It is about nine o'clock in the morning and I didn't make circuits earlier. Um, I usually have to leave here about half past six to make it to the gym. And my alarm was set. I did actually get up um, and go to the toilet, but I just could, honestly my eyes, I had to peel them open. And I'm also aching from yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna take today as my rest day. But I am still heading into London. I just don't wanna overdo it, especially because my body is aching at the moment um, from the gym already this week. Get that this morning and slept for another couple of hours and I definitely feel like I needed it. It's so miserable today. I'm honestly getting sick of this. It feels like December or January. It is almost June. Um, I've got some bits to do this morning, some filming, and then I'll probably leave her about midday. But I'm going to have some breakfast soon. I'll show you what I'm going to have because it's a little bit of a new favourite. you fresh out the shower i'm about to film some hair content yeah this is my current favorite breakfast and to be honest with you i've only had it two days in a row now but these are such a genius idea they're from audi and they're square or rectangle crumpets so they fit perfectly in your toaster and they're a little bit bigger than your average crumpet and i've just slathered mine in biscoff i do think crumpets are underrated i mean Maybe they're not, but I just never usually go for them. But these definitely stood out to me. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying them. I'm also currently obsessed with anything Biscoff flavoured. If they do it in Biscoff, I'll probably get it. Um, yeah, I'm just obsessed with it at the moment. I have it on everything. I feel like I was like this 
quite a few years ago and then I did overkill and got really sick of it but I'm back in the love phase so I'm gonna crack on and get filming and then in a couple of hours we're gonna head to London for a hair event and funnily enough I think I'm actually getting my hair done <laughs> but I need to film this content today anyway so hopefully my hair's still alive by the end of the day ready to head out and I need to leave in about 10-15 minutes just done my makeup i think there's going to be a photographer at the event today as well which will be nice um and i think yeah they're going to do some photos which i never have done actually got on something quite summery um but i'm gonna need to layer up because it is freezing so i'm in london and i got here a little bit earlier than i expected so i treat myself to a joe and the juice for lunch which i've not had in so long and obviously i always get the spicy tuna my favorite ever I try and recreate it at home. But now I am walking to the event and I already look dishevelled. I've made it to the house. It's an actual house. I didn't really know what to expect, but they've actually given us slippers to wear, which is so fun and chilled. Um, this is my outfit, by the way. I don't think I showed you. But I'm here with Fabulous and I've just had a little makeup touch up because I was definitely dishevelled walking in the rain. And now I'm gonna get my hair done and I'm so excited to show you what we're using. But this house is stunning. Okay, this is the product that we're gonna be using. Dryer, straightener, styler, all in one. And this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous, like navy blue color. And also look how amazing this bathroom is. This is my hair before. Look at this bathroom. Stunning. This is the finished hair. How gorgeous. Just feels like I've had a blow dry, but honestly it took me about, not took me, took the stylist about half an hour maybe. So quick, it felt so nice. And this is the finished result. I'm about to get some photos. Here you go. Another angle. Hey, it's not fall. How are you? It's just like in London, maybe. So, out the like the road strand, but just every now and again. Having a mirror in it, genius. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm always like, what the hell do I look like? I am now home. It is quarter past five, and we are prepping dinner. Tonight, we're going to have the quick creamy prawn rigatoni from HelloFresh and this one looks super easy. It only takes 20 minutes which is great because we're both starving. So we just need garlic, courgette, lemon, this is the pasta and then obviously the prawns and these look lovely big and juicy. Looks good. I've never had this recipe before. Mmm. Then the prawns will go back in in a minute. Okay here's the finished dinner. The prawn courgette creamy rigatoni and let's do a little taste test. Okay, a little bit of everything. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Another hit. Mm -hmm. 